Okay, we're in uh, downtown St. Louis. We're gonna check out this antique store and we found this bug. Pretty cool. All the way from Florida, I guess. But they're not driving it very much. It's got a couple flat tires. Came from Florida, I guess. Pretty cool uh, looking though, right? Dig it. We could fit this car in the trunk of this car, right? This woman does incredible furs, incredible. Uh, she's an actual furrier. Very interesting. These are vintage makes all over the place. And all these brooches. Absolutely incredible. We just stumbled upon a little treasure here. If you're looking for a real vintage mink or to have it cleaned or repaired, I mean, this is it. This is it. Absolutely incredible. Right in St. Louis, Missouri. We just wanted to come through and see what we might run into, and what a great place. And in particular, I was really pleased to see the message right on the front window. What a neat place. What a neat place. Here's the uh, storefront. Of course, here's the Merc. Of course, we're still here. The May LTD and Antiques. What a wonderful place. So, check it out if you're ever in St. Louis or if you need the information to have your fur furs cleaned or repaired. Uh, you got the information right on that card here. salad really crispy and mixed greens fantastic homemade blue cheese ribeye sandwich do they call that pan seared I mean you can just tell it's just cooked in a pan really good lots of seasoning and of course we got the hot rod wagon the cruiser sitting out there out there in the parking lot somewhere in the middle of Missouri yep near the Ozarks I do near Mizzou we might have to have a few drinks. How are you feeling, Mama? Much better now that I can eat. And we found this cool shirt at the Goodwill for like four fifty at the really cool Goodwill in Missouri. And he got a wonderful pair of tasseled loafers. Super nice tasseled loafers for the fifties prom next year. I'll be set up. Thank you, Mama. <laughs> Blue moon in the Ozark Mountains or wherever we are. Ozark. <laughs> Okay, uh, this is uh, where again? Sweetwater, Sweetwater, Sweetwater uh, Missouri, and it's always an adventure because the last room was squeaky or um, sticky. Sticky, sticky floors, floors. that would almost suck your shoes off as you picked your foot up. But this is a good room, pretty mellow, normal, and the car's right outside there. You always, if you if you're doing cross country trips with an old car, I recommend that you park it right outside the window so you can just kind of keep an eye on. So here's our fun thing about this room. The door has a mind of its own. <laughs> you have plenty of time to load in. 
Change your mind. Go back down. And if you try and close it, it comes back. <laughs> so this is a pretty good place as long as you get good neighbors because uh, there was some ruckus going on we didn't get a very good night to rest there she is she sure attracts a crowd we ate at some place last night that was fantastic banded rooster the banded rooster yeah that's it In incredible food kingdom city Kingdom City. Missouri. Lots of good religious names out here. <laughs> All right, we're heading to uh, through Kansas City. And uh, we're going to make over to Goodland to see our friends. Yep. And we're going to be drinking some beers tonight. And the adventure continues. <laughs> With my Jean Carter. God bless America. Okay, we are in Sweet Something, Missouri. I thought it was Sweet Water, but it's not. Sweet something or other. I don't remember. Sweet river. Sweet stink of the neighbor next door who smokes and then cooks roadkill in the microwave. Mixed with minestrone soup. Just to try to cover up the smell. So yeah, we managed to we managed to survive the neighbors. It was dreadful. And uh, we're heading to Kansas City. We're heading to Kansas City. Kansas City, here we come. Yep, heading to Kansas City right there. Home of the chefs. Home of the world champion chefs. Mm. All right, whatever it is, we're having it for breakfast. And we're uh, jamming as much gas as we can into the car. And we're on the road, baby. Okay, we are uh, on the outskirts of Kansas City. And we all the knights that say knee. Is that what it is? Knights that say knee or something like that? Knee. Knee, yeah. Knee. So this is pretty wild. Excalibur sword, 200 bucks. Uh, I don't know if this is recreated or real, but it's 200 bucks. For 1200 bucks, you can get the whole deal right here. And this guy and I could go into battle. Look at his face. Yeah, you get the whole uh, face plate that comes up. And uh, uh, I think I just hit my toe with a sword. <laughs> this is a great place. Uh, what's the name of this place? There's a bumper sticker for it. Merchant Square. Yeah. Merchant Square outside Kansas City. This place is cool. you got to check this through if, out. If you're on I-70, or eastbound or westbound, we're on our way to Goodland, but we're just right, right outside Kansas City. And there's a ton of Kansas City chef shirts that you can use for kindling to start your fire. <laughs> Power videoing. All right, so this helmet fits me perfect. Obviously, some dude, like my great, 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 all the way to the 1500s, was related to me, and they made this helmet for him. Nobody could hurt him, even if they attacked him. From the back. <laughs> From the back. Yeah, this sucker. And this originally is where the mullet was first uh, <laughs> worn. They just wore their hair underneath it, and the next thing you know, they had hillbilly mullets. It goes with your sandals. Yes, it does. Okay. Okay, we're continuing on the hat thing because the video stopped. We've got this one in St. Louis uh, in an antique store. And we found this one at the Goodwill. Look at that beauty. We how, found that. How much did we pay for that? Two seventy nine, dollars right there for an absolutely beautiful hat with a net for Easter, for church, whatever, for the Kentucky Derby. I mean, wow, great score. And when you're on vacation with a whole hot rod, stop by and see all the antique stores, man. You, you only live once. If you live it right, once is enough. Freaking crazy. 
I-70 westbound, just out of Kansas City. Fucking hilarious. Okay, we're in uh, downtown St. Louis. We're gonna check out this antique store and we found this bug. Pretty cool. All the way from Florida, I guess. But they're not driving it very much. It's got a couple flat tires. Same from Florida, I guess. Pretty cool uh, looking though, right? Dig it. We could fit this car in the trunk of this car, right? Yeah. Huh. 